dads, there's some pretty tough back alleys out there, and we have an obligation to protect our daughters from young men like we were. Yes, that means in order to protect our girls, we must become traitors and tell them all the tactics they can expect to encounter from almost any young man who has only one goal in mind, which is to investigate and utilize his ever-increasing sexual urges with our daughters. This kind of makes it personal, doesn't it? Oh, sure, our wives will have their talks with the girls, but the impact comes when she hears this from her daddy. So let's not be remiss. Let's get started. Honey, I need to tell you the truth about boys, and if you don't want to be known as a slut or end up pregnant, you need to listen. It's my obligation to tell you what to expect from boys because nobody knows better than your dad. I am one. I'm telling you this because I love you very much, and you could save your father many long, hard years in prison if you can stop them before they go too far. If you don't stop them, then I could become psychologically unbalanced, which can be very hard on any teenage boy once my line of reasoning becomes blurry. First you need to know, a young man has one thing in mind when it comes to young girls. He wants to go as far as possible with you as fast as he can. His heart will pound like a heavyweight speed bag the first time he holds your hand. The first time you kiss him will be no different for him than if you completely, surgically removed his brain. He will most likely be shifting uncomfortably because of an uncontrollable erection that is very hard to hide. You should know that he has been getting these erections since he was a very young man, and by the time he reached puberty, he'd figured out just how fun they are. Well, let's just name his erection Winky. Now he knows that nothing has ever felt better in his life than time spent with Winky, and they seldom miss a chance to visit each other. He generally can't even get a good night's sleep until he has had a go with Winky. He has also discovered that Winky becomes uncontainable around pretty young girls. Once Winky has taken control, the boy's brain is completely void of all reason and her judgment. He's like a crack addict, frantically trying to find a fix for Winky. Winky has now taken full control by camouflaging himself as a heartsick young man in love. This is where you have to step up to the plate and stomp on Winky. You will know when Winky has complete control of the boy because he can't silence himself. Winky says stuff like this to get the girls. But I love you. I've never felt like this before. I promise I won't tell a soul. Seriously, all our friends are doing it. They just don't say anything. If you won't do it with me, then she will. You would never get pregnant, but if you did, I would marry you. I will pull out. I promise I won't tell a soul. I will never leave you. I won't push it in all the way. I want to marry you. We would have such cute kids. You are so much more mature than the other girls. All the girls want me, and I chose you. Don't worry, I can control it. You can't get pregnant the first time. Everybody knows that. And anything else Winky can think of to get his fix. Guess what happens next? He will tell all of his friends every single thing that happened between you two, as well as some things that didn't to make himself look like a big shot to his buddies. He may even tell them they can have you when he's done with you. He will suck you in to tell you everything you want to hear, so you open up your heart to him, then he will stomp on it. His buddies will use what they were told to get what they want from their girlfriends, which are also your friends, so they will all know. Soon you will be known as a slut. The girls will treat you like crap. The boys will all be lining up to get the shot at you when your boyfriend is done. But that could be just the beginning. If things go really bad, you miss your cycle only to find out you're pregnant. Now you have to decide whether or not you're going to have the baby and become a mother, which will change your life. Have the baby and put it up for adoption, which will change your life. Or have an abortion, which will change your life. Plus, you will have to make time to visit your father in prison for killing the bastard who put you through all this because there's nothing more precious to a father than his child. So honey, before you find yourself in one of the undesirable situations we have just discussed, take the time to bring your boyfriends home. Introduce them to me so we can get to know each other. That way, I can let them know that you know 
how to stomp on Winky.